with 42 and 7 coming off uh, 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 last six of his seven bouts uh, he won most recently a ninth round technical knockout win over then unbeaten Vernon Paris I don't think I have to introduce to you uh, much or tell you much about uh, Sab Super Chuda uh, one of the most accomplished boxers of our time uh, certainly uh, one of the biggest names ever here from uh, New York a former four-time world champion at super lightweight and welterweight, former undisputed welterweight world champion, uh, really uh, a terrific fighter, uh, a fighter who um, I've, I've talked to over the past few years, and uh, you know we came up with some possibilities at 147 and so on, but no, he said I want to stay at 140. Uh, that's where I feel comfortable. Uh, there was no money big enough to lure him to 147. He really wanted to stay at 140. He knows that this is an important fight for him, and I am convinced that he will bring everything he has to walk away with those world titles. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor for me now to introduce to you Sam Superchuda. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me to make it here safe, for allowing everybody to be here, and that's to uh, just be campaigning at this level of boxing that we are right now. And, um, you know, I thank him number one for that. Um, I want to thank um, Team Garcia, to, you know, for allowing this opportunity to go down. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Garcia, Danny, Golden Boy, Showtime. Um, I want to thank uh, my team, Team Judah, the Hockeyers, my uncle Jimmy, Mo, Daryl, Big Bull, Jack, everybody, Big O, Free, Rick, everybody in the building today, Davina, my publicist. Um, you know, Team Judah, we, 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 you know, we, we aren't ready. You know, I think that uh, it's a blessing to have an arena built right in my city, right in the middle of my city, a city that I ran around and did who knows everything in the city. <laughs> and now I get to come back here. Uh, you know, from from the first time I won my world title, which, which was 16 years ago, my first world title was right there on Showtime for the IBF. Now I get to come back. 16 years later and win the uh, unified title right here in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a reason why I got Brooklyn tattooed on my back. And now they got arena for me. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but like I said, um, you know you got you know you got um, got a, you got a hungry Zab Judah. You know I've been here, I seen it all. You know I seen the, I seen the, I seen the best of them. You know I'm pretty sure Danny, you know she's gonna prepare herself to the best of his ability and coming in and, and get it on. And I think that February night everybody should just. Get your seat goes locked in, get your popcorn, because we're going to have a roller coaster take on. Y'all be blessed. That's why you're here as well. We always love to hear from him. He's probably one of the most <laughs> prolific characters, well-spoken. Uh, you never really know what happens when he talks. It's always exciting. Uh, and that is no other than Danny's father, uh, Angel Garcia, who is the great... <laughs> First of all, without the big man, there's nobody in life. Excuse my voice, because I've been like talking like all night and all day. Like, uh, First of all, without him, there's nothing in life. You know, Danny's blessed. You know, I'm blessed because of Danny. Without Danny, it won't be me. So, you know, Danny did the, you know, I do the training, I'll pick him, Danny fights him. That's how we work. You know, the thing is that, you know, like everybody's talking about Zab, 
zap, you know, there's that, whatever, you know, they were saying, but the thing, every time he stepped it on, he lost. So, what is the point? Like, he didn't win, like, when he fought Kazuzu, that was his time. That was Zab's time, Kazuzu. He didn't prestige that to get nothing, you know, he got clipped. That's okay, though, it happens. But the thing is that, that was his time, his era. There's a new era. You know, it might be in Brooklyn, you know, I feel bad for the Brooklyn people. You know, I love y'all. You know, we from Philly and we like right down the street from y'all. But listen, it's about Philly right now. You know, Philly in the house, still undefeated champion of the world. Craig Worthy now, Danny still undefeated. You know, WBA, Ring Magazine champion of the world, WBC. Still coming home. You know, we're not, we're not leaving that in, in Brooklyn. You know, Zab, I give him credit. You know, I give him credit. It's gonna be work for Danny. 26 and 0, 17 KOs. I say Zach go down in four, five counting. Cause that is a four round fighter, he knows that. You know, you fought, you fought Paris. Not to put Paris on the spot, because what happens in the gym stays in the gym. But we used him for sparring, man, and uh, the first shot Danny hit him, he went down. It, it took you nine. It took you nine with, with Paris. He don't even do a mile and a half. I'm not trying to put Paris on the spot, but the truth is the truth and the sky is too big for me to cover it. It took him nine rounds to put Paris down. It rhymes too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, Zach, your time was when Costa Zoo. It's a new era, I respect you because you put gloves on. So any man that put gloves on in life, you gotta respect that. That's the only respect I'm giving you, it's the gloves. Besides the points that, I mean, I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, I ain't trying to hurt your corner's feelings, but... He got to fight, not you. No, but listen to this, I'm fight. fighting mentally with him. Believe that, listen, the difference between... Oh, listen, 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 It don't matter. I don't want no more titles. I got more knockouts than he got fucking fights. Don't matter, dog. Don't matter. Listen, it don't matter. It don't fucking matter. I understand what his father does. I understand, listen to me, I understand what his father does. I have a lot of respect for his father. I have a lot of respect for his father. I gave him nothing but respect. I understand what he did with the Miracon and, 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 and with, with Morales, but this is a whole different kind of person. I promise you, my homie. I promise you. I see 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 you.
discriminate patients. Exactly. You didn't think about that, Pops. I see you don't discriminate don't patients. You would end up in a fucking hospital. Keep paying with me, my nigga. Now, Richard, Shea Whiskey. Now, Richard, Shea Whiskey. Be quiet, Angel. Please, all right, guys, I'd like to give it over to uh, the microphone to Danny Garcia now. Danny Garcia had a great year, great wins this year, terrific performances against against Amir Khan and against Eric Morales. He's being named as one of the candidates for Fighter of the Year, and it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the undisputed 140 pound world champion, Danny Swift Garcia. Come on, Danny. Okay, First of all, first of all, I want to thank God. I'm give me this opportunity to shine on this level. Do, I, don't do it, man. I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Showtime. And um, come February 9th, it's going to be another it's epic show. Fight. It's going to be another it's right. epic. It's going to be a, it's going to be, right. matter of fact, right. come, February, come, February, come February 9th, come February 9th, come February 9th, come February 9th, I'm going to show you two motherfuckers. Who the fuck? I'm going to show you two motherfuckers. February 9th, I'm gonna show you how to respect your elders. I'm gonna punish you. Thank you. And that's all I gotta say. Sign up, sign up. I see February 9th for showtime. I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna knock you out. That's it. I ain't got nothing else to say. You know me, I let my dad do the talking. I walk it up. I go on it. You flat footed. You gonna be laid out flat. I'm flat footed, but you gonna be laid out flat. February 9th, don't miss it. I will say this, the first time I've seen fighters fight the I've never seen a fighter in the dead fight the If I'm Gallagher's, I don't want any boxing press coming back here ever again. But I never like thought I'd be in the middle of this shit. I think I'd be the one starting it. I never in my career I think I'd be in the middle of this shit. Let's see, Winky Wright. I think, I think if you were, I think if you weren't in the middle of this, things would have went fast. What did you say? If you weren't, if you weren't in the middle of this, yo, Schaefer, 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 Richard, Richard, if he wasn't in the middle of this shit, oh yeah, shit would have went fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what when, when Kelly and Lisa sent out the quotes, will there be any N words in the quotes? <laughs> just, just, no, I just it's good. It's surprising. Oh, yeah. Just Richard. No, I just Richard. <laughs> The sad part is this was better than the fight with you. I show respect. I show respect, and I can respect that. We don't want to respect that. Remember, at the end of the day, guys, we're fighters. The fighter, we're talented. We are fighters. We're talented. It's a warrior sport. Anything, we in a fight. We in a fight. We in a fight. There's a fight gonna happen. Me, because you, because I'm exposing what you are. Me, because you and your whole time putting on the spot. It's not.